There is a two minute limit for this video, so I'll have to be quick. I wanted to show you the portable environmental monitor, the first prototype, but with some code on it and the LCD in its place, so you can see it running. Um, let me turn it on. We have a push button con controlling a pitch and a MOSFET, so it's a much nicer solution than a simple toggle switch. Finally, we have the data on the LCD. You can see the readings from the BMP 180 sensor, the temperature and the pressure. Then there is the dust sensor, the air quality sensor with its CO2 and VOC readings, and some debug information from the ESP wireless module. It's the 80 plus GMR command returning the firmware information. Just to iterate some of the components used for this already complex device. On the top side you can see the nice LND712 Geiger tube capable of detecting alpha, beta and gamma radiation. It has an end window transparent to alpha and beta so it's much better than the regular tubes only detecting gamma radiation. This is the dust sensor, the rechargeable lithium battery, a speaker, two LEDs showing the status of the battery while charging. And the interesting part is on the bottom side there's been a lot of work to put all this together. Most of the work has been done manually, including the PCB and mounting and soldering all the components. Here is the air quality sensor, the BMP 180, the wireless ESP module, the very nice 80 mega 128 microcontroller, and this is this part here is the power module, which is uh, used to boost the voltage from the battery up to 5 volts, and then a reference regulator of 3.3 volts. This is the IC for charging the battery, and my time is up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.